Hola. Hola. Hola, mira, este, no conocía que... Hola. Hola, hola. Ahí. Vaya. ¿Ah? Tengan cuidado ahí, pues. Sí, está bueno. Salud. Vaya, salud. Saludame a la negra. Hello, people. Good evening. Working well.
Friday. And God is Friday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Myra. How is your Black Friday going? Yeah, today in the store, teacher. Okay. Save me some shirts. Hey, look at my cup, invisible cup. Welcome, people. I have Xiomara's listener, Alejandra's listener, Myra is working. <laughs> well, Joanna listener. Hey, come on, guys. Really? Friday is to practice, not just to listen. Todos de oyentes, bueno, no todos, pero varios de oyentes. Andan aprovechando el Black Friday. Teacher, you know, yo salgo a las once y media, pero estoy en mi hora de break. ¿A las once y media? Sí, es ahora vamos a cerrar. Híjole. Cierre el mes, teacher, también. No, y que Black Friday, los que están en tiendas o en comercio. Sorry for you. Por eso cuando fui vendedor en mi vida, jamás quise ser vendedor de comercio. No. Pero esperamos buenos resultados, teacher. Ah, bueno, no, pues sí. Vende bastante, Alejandra. Ok. <laughs> Okie dokie. Me imagino que el tráfico ha de estar de locos este día. Para los que les toca salir. Mayra es en. In Zara. Está horrible, teacher, el tráfico. Sí. 
sí, gracias a Dios. Yo, yo no a mí me salgo. tocó llegar tarde. Por eso estoy comiendo, perdón. Adelante, adelante, no hay problema. Si Omar va de camino. Joana. Joana anda haciendo cola para en algún business, ¿va, Joana? Okay, let's get started tonight with the attendance. Okay, the first attendance on this Black Friday. Solo por eso vamos a dar la dos por uno los ejercicios hoy. Black Friday. I remember a movie from the 80s called Thank God It's Friday. La película crazy. Okay, let's get started with Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Present. Excellent, Miguel. Good evening. Well. Olga Marlene Gomez. Are you there? Present. Okay, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Senaida America Dominguez. Senaida has not made it yet. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Xiomara, are you there? Well, let's see. Um, let's continue with Anadelmi Herrera, Missing in Action. Alejandra Vanessa Mura. Present. Okay, Alejandra. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Are you here now? Linda, Linda. No, Jet. Ana Marisol Mendoza. No, Jet. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Yeah. Present. He's there. Very good. Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. Welcome. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Angel, not here yet. Okay. Xiomara in the chat said present. Okay, Xiomara. Uh, Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Ah, Irma and Angel must be working. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Charlie, Charlie, not here yet. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Good Very evening. good. Good evening. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Present. Very good. Welcome. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Joana. Uh, you need to respond. Bon, Joanna. Okay, and tonight's personal session goes to Nelson, Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Okay, Joanna, present in the chat. Let me write. Okay, good. Good. Well, tonight we are going to start. Um, well, it's okay. 
with the exercises in the book. And let's finish with that. And then we're going to do other activities as a review. So let me start sharing the, the screen to share the book. Here it is. In this unit, we have been talking about, about staff and schedules. The first exercise says, read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event. We have this schedule that goes from 9.30 a.m. to 10, 10 p.m. Okay, let me read it for you first, so pay attention. Oh, let me get the, okay, the laser. 9.30 a.m., open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. 9.40 a.m., walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m., create schedule for servers and busers with chores that need to be done in their shifts individually. 10 a.m., servers start to clock in. 10, 10 a.m., turn on all the lights and sound system. 10.30 a.m., everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees, and we talk about what their scheduled chores for the day. 10.50 a.m., Everyone clock back in. Everyone, um, or is it everyone clocks back in and start working again? 10 50, 55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m., go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready-to-eat food and get samples, samples to taste. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m., clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. 4 p.m. Clock in. Break is over. 4.05 p.m. Check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer temps. 4.10 p.m. May schedule for second shift. Servers and busters. Kitchen head. Cook handles his team. Uh, 4 30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. Five to nine p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc. etc. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from five to nine. That way I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. 10 o'clock p.m., turn the open sign off and lock the front door. 10, 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Okay, so this is the schedule, the manager's schedule, all right? 
Now, there are some statements here that you have to check. Um, what is that? Ah, okay, you have to write the time for each event. Just write the time. Check temperature at the kitchen. It does that at 9.40. And also at what time? And 4.05. Well, that could be 9.40. Uh, for me, 9.40 and 4.05. That is the answer for this. 9.40 and 4.05. So that's all you are going to do. Write the time for each activity, okay? According to the schedule. All right? Go ahead, please. You can do it individually. And then we're going to check together. Okay. When you finish, please raise your hand.
teacher. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what is boosters? Boosters of the waiter's assistant. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. The boosters. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Just connecting. And could you explain me what is the activity? Okay, we're working on the first activity in the book. Oh, let me share the screen. Okay. Aquí hay un resumen de debitur. El efectivo es un elemento de balance. Quiet. Uh, you have this schedule. This is a manager, a uh, restaurant. There's a schedule and there are six activities that you must write the time. What is the time for each activity? Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, dokie.
Oh, uh -huh. people hadn't finished the time. Really? Let's see. Number two, turn on the lights and sound system. Number three, make the schedule for the second shift. Number four, open the back kitchen door. Number five, do inside work. Yeah. Turn on the open sign. Number five is this one. Aquí está mal escrito. Okay, let's see. What time does he check temperature at the kitchen? Eleven a.m. Eleven. Mm -hmm. No. Nine. 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 Actually, we can add, say, three Nine times. 940 a.m. 940, 11, and 405. 4, 5 p.m. Okay, maybe three times. Number two, what time does he turn on the light and sound system? 10. 10. 10. I am. Okay. I, 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 yeah. Good. Ten after ten. Ten after ten. Uh, number three. What time does he make the schedule for the second shift? For ten p.m. p.m. Okay. Number four. What time does he open the back kitchen door? Um. Ten. 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 
10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. No. No. Night. Your sleep. a.m. a.m. Yes. 9:30 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time does he do inside work? 9:30 p.m. 9:30 p.m. What time does he turn on the open sign? 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock p.m. 55 a.m. Yeah, 10.55 a.m. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, turn the open sign off. 10 o'clock. Turn on. 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock a.m. I am. 10 55. 10 55 a.m. Open the front door and yes. the open sign. At night he turns off turns off. You see? At night he turned the sign off. And the question is turn on. On, uh -huh. You see, Caroline? Um, um, teacher, yo tenía 10 o'clock p.m., pero no sé, quizás me equivoco. Sí, porque no. 10 o'clock p.m., sí. he turns off the uh -huh. sign, lo apaga. Sí, lo apaga, y es donde lo... Y 10.55, es donde lo enciende, ¿no? Turn on. Uh -huh. Este, ten entonces clock EM. No, 10.55 AM. Ah, 10. Ah, ajá. 10.55 AM. Así, 10.50. Yeah. Okay. 55. Okay, then the second exercise for the review. In the book. Is this complete the sentences with the simple present form of the verbs in parentheses okay. and write sentences using the words in parentheses? Aquí no tenemos sujeto ni pronombre. Aquí pueden agregar ustedes lo que quieran. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo. Ah, uh, como no tenemos sujeto, pueden ustedes agregar el sujeto. Pick up always tables. Uh, por ejemplo, the waiters always pick up the table. Ustedes tienen que agregar cualquier sujeto que encaje. In este, mm -hmm. The waiters always pick up the tables. Y en el ejercicio 1, pues tenemos el verbo, solo hay que escribirlo correctamente. Okay. Let's do this in groups so you can work. You can your answer. Um, okay. Go to your group, go to the groups and complete exercises one and two.
Siempre. Yes. Always pick uh -huh. up tables. A waiter. Teacher. Ah. Hello, teacher. One question. Yes. Eh, vamos a hacer oraciones acorde a la página 28, ¿verdad? You have to complete the sentences. Ah, Using the word in, parent, in, in parentheses. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok. <clears throat> Entonces, uh, number one is a waiter always pick up tables. The waiter always pick up tables. Sí. Uh, did you finish exercise one already? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, number two. Están hablando del, están hablando del literal dos de la página 28. Yes. Sí, pero no entendí. Tenemos que hacer también la parte uno. Yes, of course. Uh, ah, okay. sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, complete the sentence with the simple present right. form of, of the verb in parentheses. Yes. Um, Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two. Jane. Verbo and simple present. Aquí entro, Mister. El teacher. Sí. ¿Cómo sabe? Cuando hace eso es que él entra a ver. Ah. Este sonido. Teacher, oh. are, you, are you here? Hello. I have a question. Ajá, uh -huh. what is your question? I don't remember. Uh, por favor, solo dígame un sí o un no, que no estoy segura. Uh, Jeff does work from... 6 o'clock a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. No. 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 Could you mind uh, give me one explain, please? Okay. You will use do or does only for questions. En negative sentences en I know. Mm. Ok. In this okay. case, we are going to use the verb in simple present form. Alright. Remember that with third person singular, we add S to the verbs. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, yes, so, works. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. No problem. Ah, uh, Miguel. No, Ángel. Diga. Ok. The first sentence is works. Any question here? Uh, no, teacher. Did you finish exercise one and two? Por el dos vamos ahorita. Teacher. Yes. En el, en el exercise two en el item three. What is higher? Higher. Higher es contratar. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Cool. 
Nuestra compañía. The warehouse, warehouse or the, pongámosle nombre. Sí, man, pongámosle. Ajá. Ah, sí, pues. Sí, man. Sí, Harley man. Ever. Sí, man. Harley Ever. Harley Ever. Give, Give away. Away. Uh -huh. Away. Away. Promotional. Promotional items. Promotional items. items. Ah, items. Items, sí. En mi trabajo lo pongo mucho. Promotional. Items. 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 Vamos a ver. Okay. Never on Monday. Pongamos que no cierra los lunes. Um, Ah. No decir restaurante. No. The bank. The bank. Uh -huh. The bank. The bank. The bank. Uh -huh. The bank. The Never. Hola. Pero es que no, es que no le estamos pasando a negativo, sino que solamente el presente simple del verbo. Por eso yo no le estoy pasando a negativo, solo por eso le pregunto si en Jen y Pete es clean the table every day. Y aquí en la 6 sería sí, without... Sí, solo clean, sin la S. Y aquí en la 6 sería without clauses, ¿verdad? O clause. Se le agrega la S, ¿verdad? No he llegado hasta ahí. Mm. Y en la tercera, ¿cuál sería su ley? No sería Mar doesn't take order. ¿Verdad? Yo solo la he dejado no. Mar does not take orders on Wednesday. A ver, ¿qué tal? Or restaurant. Un oh, restaurant open, nada más.
Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. See you in a moment. We're going to check to. Okay, welcome back. Let's check your work. Okay, let's see. Number one, Silvio, can you read it first? Can you read it? Okay. One moment. One. The Jeff mm -hmm. works, works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Perfect, very good. Works. Number two, Caroline. Okay. Jay and Pete clean the table every day. Clean, correct. Number three, uh, Senaida. Okay, Mark. Uh, takes. Um, it's negative. Mark, Mark does. Send take order order on Wednesday. Okay, doesn't take orders. Good. Number four. Well, let's see. Linda. No, Marisol. Eh, ah, okay. Teacher, me voy conectando, pero creo que es al okay. restaurant. Al restaurant open. Open. Um, creo que lleva ese al restaurant open. Uh -huh. yes. yes, correct. Very good. Our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Good. Marisol, number five. Okay, teacher. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Sure, spends. Perfect. Number six, 
Miguel. Okay, number six. We don't close on Sundays. We don't close, correct. Number seven. Angel. They respect mm -hmm. to have more cleans this week. They expect, expect. Okay, very good. Perfect. Okay, let's practice this. Repeat after me, please. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Jeff works Jeff from, from 6 p.m. to 4 p.m. Good. Number two, Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. J&P clean, clean the, the tables, tables every, every day. day. Clean the tables every day. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. Mark, Mark doesn't, doesn't take, take orders, orders on Wednesday. 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 Wednesdays. Four, our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Our oh, restaurant opens, opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Five. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Six. We don't close on Sundays. We don't we close, don't close on, on, Sundays. On, Sundays. on Sundays. They expect to have more clients this week. They, they expect, expect to have, to have more, more, clients more clients this week. week. The weeks. This week. Okay. Any question with this exercise? No, teach. No. Muy bien. Todos lo hicieron así. ¿Hay alguna duda? Si no, seguimos revisando el siguiente. Okay. Now exercise this exercise. Okay. Aquí, pues cada quien iba a agregar aquí un, un subject, ¿verdad? Si es que pueden variar las respuestas. A ver, ¿qué puso? ¿Dónde nos quedamos? Con Ángel, ¿verdad? No, no, ¿con quién nos quedamos? No, me acuerdo, Linda. pero vamos con Zuleima. Gracias, Caroline. Zuleima, number one. It's time for the attendance. Let's wait. Ok, Zuleima. Um... Okay, I pick up tables always. I ah ah okay. A ver, aquí hay un error. ¿Cuál es el error? The adjective. Ah, always. ¿Dónde debe de ir always? Always. After the subject. After the subject. Before the verb. Always. El adverb goes before the verb. Okay, remember that the adverb goes before 
the verb. Except when is the verb be. Okay. When is the verb be? The verb goes before the other. Only verb be. Por ejemplo, uh, yo creo que no hay ninguna que pudiéramos colocar con el verb be. Bueno, vamos a buscarlo. Ok, number two, Nelson. She is always pick up tables. No, 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 no. No, no tiene. Yeah. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. Okay. The manager Sheldon change the menu. Menu. Uh -huh. Seldom. Ok. A ver, hay un detallito. ¿Cuál es? ¿Quién nos dice? No, antes change. Mm. Antes seldom. No. The manager change. No, que acabo de decir, Miguel. The adverb goes before the verb. The verb. Eh. No es verbo to be. Exacto, el adverbio va siempre antes del verbo. Y el verbo es change. Seldom es el adverb, por lo tanto va antes. Está bien. Es otro detallito que, que falta. The manager. That is the subject. The manager. Seldom. Huh? Nice. Yes. Changes. Ah, changes. Changes. Ah, plural. No. Al contrario. Sí. Cuando le agregamos ese a los verbos. Primera. Tercera persona. Tercera persona singular. O sea, he, she, it. Y aquí el subject is the manager. Que es he or she. ¿Verdad? Entonces el verbo en tercera persona. Es the simple present. Muy bien. Number two. Three, Olga, please. Olga, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. The new employee readily here. Uh, no. No. Teacher. 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 Hola. My, uh, it's correct. My boss rarely hears new employees. Ah, okay. My Thank boss you. rarely hire new employees. Ok. ¿Qué le falta? Yes. Yes. Ah, third person. Hires. My boss rarely hires new employees. Ok. Let's continue with... Let me go back. Carla. Yes, teacher. Uh, number four. Mm -hmm. The books store sometimes close early. 
a book store sometimes close early okay people is this correct closes ah closes good number five oh i don't know well let's go okay carla um okay silvio number five okay Siman hardly ever gives away promotional items. Okay. They are stingy. Siman hardly ever gives away promotional items. Perfect. Number six. I'm going to write it here. Uh, let's see, Caroline. Okay. The bank never closes on Mondays. Perfect, closes on Mondays. Okay. That is the last one, right? And la última? Yes. Perfect. Yes, okay, let's practice. Repeat after me. I always pick up tables. I, I always, always pick up, pick pick up tables. tables. The manager seldom changes the menu. The manager, manager seldom changes the menu. The menu. My boss rarely hires new employees. My, my boss rarely hires, hires new, new employees. employees. Four, the bookstore sometimes closes early. The bookstore book sometimes, sometimes closes early. early. Siman hardly ever gives away promotional items. Simon hardly ever wise away promotional errands. The bank never closes on Mondays. The bank never closes on Mondays. Okay, any question, people? No, not teacher. Great. Teacher. Yes. And uh, the price albers of for example, uh, pickups, um, the yes and, and picks, picks, picks yes. up. Yes, in this case, it should be in picks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Como acá, ¿verdad? El giveaway va en gives. Muy bien. Perfect. Any other question? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, let's take the second attendance. And then we're going to do more practice. Okay, please. Turn on cameras and respond. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present. Present. Good. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Good. Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Uh, Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Good, Nelson Iván Alfaro. 
Present. Okay, Carla Verónica Suria. Present, teacher. Good, Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Okay, people. Well, with that, we finish the material in the book for this section. Okay, for section of section um, two. Okay. Um, let's do something. I don't know how many of you finished the cover letter. Raise your please hand. Finish. Raise your hand if you finished your cover letter, please. To see. Okay. Only one, two. Three. More or less, teacher. Four. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, that is something. I know, I know, I know. It's good to, to express yourself. Bueno, para que se expresen, para que sepan poner frases, oraciones. Bueno, vamos a... a Uh, hagamos una cosa. Bueno, Carolina ya me la, me la envió eh, eh, directo en el WhatsApp. Perfecto. Carla, Olga, envíenmela en el WhatsApp. Eh, la voy a revisar. Los demás igual me las pueden enviar al WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? La voy a revisar. Y el sí, lunes las podemos, podemos darles una ojeada, ¿no? Y hacer algunos comentarios. Si los que no las han terminado, igual, si lo quieren terminar, eh, les aclaro, esto no es nota, no es evaluación, no, no es examen, no es nada, ¿no? Ustedes saben que las notas de esto son lo de la plataforma. Es una práctica. Ustedes quieren hacerla y quieren que yo se la revise y que les haga comentarios, perfecto. Ok, me la envía. No, no hay problema. Entonces, Bien. dicho eso, ah, tengo otros ejercicios para que practiquemos el simple present, ¿verdad? Que veo que todavía se nos, se nos queda algunas cositas en el tintero. Ah, vamos a ver. Entonces, lo que ya vimos, esto ya lo vimos, ya lo vimos. Ok, pero antes de hacer este de speaking, bueno, vamos a hacer este, este ejercicio. Va, este es sencillo. Ok, so you have to complete the, the questions. You have to complete the questions, ok. These are yes, no questions. This is simple. Yes, no questions. Right? Um, entonces, es de escribir solamente. Vamos a ver. Por ejemplo, son, como le repito, todas son yes, no questions. Ahora, vamos a insertar texto. Acá, ¿cómo completaríamos esta pregunta? 
Oops. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Ay. Ok. ¿Cómo completaríamos esta pregunta? ¿Qué me dice? Das. Das. Correcto. Does Charlie tidy his room? Y la respuesta sería, voy a extender esto hasta acá para agregar acá la No, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. Ok, muy bien. No, he does. Oops. ¿Verdad? Does Charlie tidy his room? Tidy es, es ordenar, arreglar, limpiar, ¿verdad? Ordenar. Does Charlie tidy his room? No, he doesn't. ¿Ok? Completen las otras 15 preguntas y la respuesta. Son yes, no questions. Tómense unos minutitos. Ah, perdón, les voy a enviar la imagen a, al WhatsApp para que trabajen en eso. Ahorita. Give me a second. Oh, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Here. There you go. Okay. So you have the, the exercise in WhatsApp, please work on it. And I'll be here, do it individually. When you finish, raise your hand. But I will give you only like 28, 21, 18 to 20 to 20, 25, seven minutes, seven minutes. No tienen que copiar todo el, el ejercicio. Solo pongan si quieren la, la respuesta. Luego lo, lo pueden escribir. Thank <laughs> you. 
A ver si me logro levantar luego, porque ya no voy a <risa> Tienes que poner despertador. Three minutes.
microphone here. Okay, we're going to check. Let's see, let's start from the bottom. Okay, Claudia, can you read number two? Uh, does Christine do her homework? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. Perfect, very good. Number three, Joanna, are you there? Mm, maybe not. Myra is working. Miguel, number three. And you read number three? Yeah. Uh, do Tom and Shirley take photos? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, Perf they do. Perfect. Number four, please. Olga. Olga, are you there? Maybe not. Nelson, number four. Does Sarah buy new clothes? No, she doesn't. Perfect. Um, Carla, number five. Uh, does the dog go in the park? No. He doesn't? Yeah, we can use he, no problem. We can use he or it, it's okay. Tonight, uh, number six. Janaida, we cannot hear you. Does they eat at one o'clock? Yes, they mm -hmm. are. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do or does Janaida in the question? Do, do they eat? Mm -hmm. Continue. Do they eat at one o'clock? Uh -huh. Yes. Do it. Yes. Do it. No. Do it. No. Yes, they do. If you use do in the question, you use do in the answer. If you use does in the question, Use does in the answer, okay? Number seven, please. Xiomara. Does my mother wear long dresses? Mm -hmm. Yes, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Ah, okay, perfect. <laughs> Number eight, Angel. Angel at one, Angel at two, Angel knockout. Number eight, Caroline. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Eight does my friend need glasses? Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 he, no, he doesn't. Okay, yes. We don't know if it's a he or it's a she, okay? So, no sabemos. Sí, pues, está bien. Okay, are you there now, Angel, for number nine? Thank you. 
Angel at one, Angel at two, Angel No, no escuchamos. No funciona. Sorry, maybe later. Suleyma, number nine. Do we stay at home on Sundays? No, we don't. No, we don't. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Marisol, number 10. Okay. Does my sister. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> because ah. it's, um, do my sister and I go to the cinema on Saturday? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. Uh, Silvio, number 11. Do you look at the beers when you go to the park? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, perfect. Very good. Now let's go back to the bottom. Claudia, number 12. Do he use his laptop? Does ah. he use his laptop every day? No, does he? No, he does. Okay, perfect. 13, Linda. Linda. Okay. Do we, we drink orange juice? Yes, we do. Correct. Very good. 14, Miguel. Do they, Do they go to bed? Go ahead, Do they Miguel. Go to Do they go to bed at nine o'clock? Mm -hmm. No, they. No, they do. No, they. Do. Negative. Oh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, okay, very good. 15. Let's see if Angel is available now. Angel, are you there? Sorry, teacher. Escucha. Sí, ahora sí. Hay un ruido por ahí. El micrófono, creo. Sí. 15. Uh, okay, does we play in the garden? Yes, we do. Mm. Yes, we do. Ah, estás usando do en la respuesta, do en la pregunta. Ah, okay. Repeat. Uh, do we play in the garden? Yes. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's practice, please. Repeat after me. Does Charlie tidy his room? No, he doesn't. Does Charlie tidy his room? No, he doesn't. Does Christine do her homework? Yes, she does. Does Christine do her homework? Yes, that. Do Tom and Charlie take photos? Yes, they do. Do Tom and Charlie take photos? Do Tom and Charlie take photos? Yes, yes, we do. Does Sarah buy new clothes? No, she doesn't. Does Sarah buys new clothes? No, she doesn't. Does the dog run in the park? No, he doesn't. Does the dog the run dog in the park? In the park? No, no, he doesn't. Do they eat at one o'clock? Yes, they do. 
Do they eat at one o'clock? Yes, one o'clock. Yes. Does my mother wear long dresses? Yes, she does. Does my grandmother Yes. Does my friend need glasses? No, he doesn't. Does my friend need glasses? No, she doesn't. Do we stay at home on Sundays? No, we don't. Do we stay at home on Sunday? No, we stay at home on Sunday. No, no, we. Do my sister and I go to the cinema on Saturdays? Yes, we do. My sister. Do sister and I go to the cinema on Saturday? Yes, he. Yes, we do. Do you look at the birds when you go to the park? Yes, we do. Yes, I do. Do you look at the beer when you go to the park? Yes. yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Does he use his laptop every day? No, he doesn't. Does he, does he, use, he use his, his laptop, laptop every, every day? day? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Do we drink orange juice? Yes, we do. Do we drink, do we drink, drink orange, orange juice? juice? Yes, yes, we do. We do, do they do they go to bed at nine o'clock? No, they don't. They, they go, go to bed at night. To bed at nine o'clock? No, they don't. No, they don't. Do we play in the garden? Yes, we do. Do we, do play, we play in the garden? In the yes, garden? We do. yes, we do. Yes, okay, very good, very good. Now, there is another exercise I have for you. This is to make questions, okay? I want you to make questions. You have the sentence. She works at the bank. You are going to ask the questions with where? You play football on Wednesdays? When? They catch the bus at eight o'clock huh? at time. Okay, and así las demás. Ya les doy la palabra de pregunta que van a usar. Solo tienen que armar la pregunta. Okay. Vamos a ver. Voy a poner la primera de ejemplo. She works at the bank. Entonces la pregunta sería, where does she work? Okay, the answer at the bank. Esa sería la manera, okay? Let me take this and no, I'm going to give it. Okay, I'll send this to WhatsApp so you can use it. There you are, okay? Write the questions. You have 10 minutes.
Please raise your hand when you finish. Okay.
Okay, let's check. Oh, but um, okay, number one is where does she work? Answer at the bank. What about number two? Volunteer for number two. Wow. Well, Okay. When do you play football? Okay. When do you play football? Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Good. When do you play football? Number three. Another another volunteer. What time do you do they catch the bus at, at eight o'clock? Okay, good. What time do they catch the bus? Answer at eight o'clock. Number four. Another volunteer. Me teacher. Okay. Who does wake up at half past six? My aunt. Mm, 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 mm. Remember that questions with who are different. Who is? Who wakes up? Who, who, is? who, does? who wakes up? Wakes up. Yes. Who wakes who up? Wakes up? Let me complete it here. Who wakes up at six uh, o'clock? At six, a half past six. Sorry. At six o'clock. Who wakes up at half past six? My Pre aunt. My aunt, yes. So, las preguntas con who son diferentes. No llevan do o does. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, number five. Y en ese caso, why lleva do? Si lleva auxiliar. Okay. Why do he find a lot. Yo ahí no le encontraba mucho sentido. Uh, Yo le... Why does he? Ah, that. Sí, la, ahí no hay respuesta. Uh -huh. Hay que usar todo para la pregunta. Ah, why does he fight a lot with his friends. Correcto. Okay. Okay. Number six. What does she work to work? What does she wear yeah. to work? No, what does she? No. What does she know? Her uncle. Her uncle, correct. What does her uncle wear to work? Blue trousers. All her uncle wears dark blue trousers. And number seven. How often, fly How often do we do Madrid? Do we fly? Fly, fly. to fly. Madrid. How often fly to Madrid? Okay. Friday. Every Friday. 
Muy bien. Así quedarían estas preguntas. Ok. Entonces hoy tuvimos un repaso del simple present. Simple present. Perfect. Very good. So with this we finish section two. Uh, tengo dos todavía que no han terminado la sección dos. Y tres que no han terminado el midterm exam. Espero que lo terminen. Hoy antes de. Ay, la midnight no. Yo hasta las once voy a llegar. Así que terminenlo antes de las once. Para ponerle la nota. Si no se queda para el lunes. Pero mañana lo revisan. Así es que mejor terminenlo. Ok. Now let's take the last attendance. Y como les dije, si quieren enviarlo de la cover letter, me lo mandan ahí en WhatsApp para hacerles comentarios y revisar. Ah, algo extra. Ok. Last attendance for tonight. Let's start with Joana Beatriz Orellana. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present teacher. Good okay. night. Good night. Nice weekend. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Um, Carolina Yamilet no, Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you Good very night. much. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Didn't show up today. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Working. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. I guess she's working. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ángel. Microphone problems. Okay, Ángel. Ya, yeah, ya yeah. sé que estás ahí. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Good Thank night. Thank you. Good night. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nice weekend. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Thank you. Alejandra is working. Ana Delmi Herrera. Eh, Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Ok. Enjoy your weekend. Zenaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Have okay. a nice night. Enjoy your weekend. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Very good. Nice weekend. Olga Marleni Gómez. Olga Marleni Gómez. Oh, okay. Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much, you too. Thank you. Minus a person in the chat. And Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present. Present. Okay, people, enjoy your weekend. Okay, see you on Monday. If you have not finished the homework, finish and the midterm exam, please. And I stay with Nelson. Okay, Nelson, is there anything I can reinforce with you? I have problem. I can hear you. ¿Me escuchas? Yes. Okay, ¿hay algo que quisiera reforzar?
Creo que no, únicamente una pregunta. O oh, sería como... ¿Qué Dime. consejo me puede dar para poder eh, recordar o, o memorizar? Porque creo que con eso tengo problemas. Memorizar... Bueno, para memorizar es repetición realmente, ¿verdad? Para recordar las cosas que te queden grabadas es repetición. Um, ¿Qué en particular? Que, que ¿Hay algo en particular que, que se te dificulta? No, es, que, es que a veces, digamos, el día anterior hemos visto una palabra y digamos... Ya hoy la vemos de nuevo, pero no recuerdo el significado. Entonces tengo que volver a buscar qué significado. Entonces siento que eso es lo que me atrasa un poco. Uh, si puedes hacer una tu libretita donde ir, ir haciendo estos, este vocabulario verdad propio, uh -huh. es bueno, ¿no? Porque a la vez que lo, que lo ves, lo escribes, ¿verdad? Y lo puedes repasar. Eh, para vocabulario es bueno usar tarjetitas en que tú andes en, en el bolsillo o hay muchas aplicaciones ahora también para teléfono que te lanzan palabras eh, durante el día, la palabra del día o la frase del día que te ayudan a estar aprendiendo un nuevo vocabulario. O tarjetitas, ¿verdad? Que tú puedas hacer o cosas que, que estés viendo constantemente, ¿no? Pegar en los lugares que tú más tiempo en tu casa, ¿no? Pegar palabras, pegarle, qué sé yo. Usar diferentes técnicas para tener en, tener a, la, a la vista las cosas que, que estás queriendo aprender. Sí, quizás eso. Uh -huh. Puede ir. Y, y como siempre les digo, mucho leer, mucho leer, ¿verdad? Tratar de buscar cosas que leer. Oh. No. Para, para ir adquiriendo un nuevo, nuevo vocabulario, ¿no? Aparte de lo de la de lo que se ve en la clase. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. Eso. Ok. Eso va enriqueciendo el vocabulario. Sí. Eh, ayer eh, vimos esta, esta lección, ¿verdad? Ayer no, no pudiste estar. Sí, no, no, uh, me gustaría sí, que practiquemos esta conversación. No. Ok. Ok. Como vimos ahora, pues prácticamente toda esta unidad ha sido de simple present, de estudiar simple. Es que esta es otra, una conversación más donde se aplica esto. La leo primero y luego la practicamos, ¿ok? Bueno. Dice, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, now please repeat after me. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing potential employees. Go ahead. Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to about some changes in the schedule. 
them, I have to talk to staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, what about you? I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, who about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Just the usual. Checking that the person personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, very good. Now I am Celia and you are Marcos, okay? Okay. <clears throat> good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished an interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to a staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I threw ordering the inventory was Janet Joe. Good. Now you are Celia and I am Marcos. Okay, you begin. One, two, three. Okay. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, pretty good, very good. Any question conversation? A schedule. 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 Ah, es el, el horario, ah. el programa, la puede ser. Uh -huh. Pero esos casos son los que le, le comentaba que ese, esa palabra la vimos creo el miércoles o martes. Uh -huh. Ya se me había ido de nuevo. Sí, como te digo, anotar. Manda a hacer tú una libretita donde lo vayas anotando. Eso ayuda. Ok, entonces. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, eso sería todo, este, Nelson, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Bueno, muchas gracias. Bueno, pasa buenas noches. See you tomorrow. See you on Monday. See you. Bye-bye.